Welcome back to Harbor. More intelligence on bin Laden is coming to life from that trove of files and journals taken from his compound over there. The al-Qaeda leader wrote about assassination plots against our president, against our defense secretary, and our chairman of the Joint Chiefs. Wow. And get this, a stash of porn videos was also retrieved from the compound. That's an interesting find at the home of someone who claimed to be a religious leader of sorts. Anyway, as the CIA continues to pour over all the information, members of Congress, the armed services and intelligence committees of the Congress have been visiting the agency to look at those bin Laden photos. Democratic congressman from Philadelphia and Pennsylvania, Bob Brady, checked out the photos. He's here along with NBC News terrorism analyst Michael Sheehan. Congressman Brady, thank you so much for coming on and offering to do this. Overall, give us a, a broad sense of what you saw and why you think or what you think should be done with those pictures. Well, uh, I, I was taken in early Thursday morning to uh, to look at the photos and we saw about five photos of him alive and right beside him was dead. And they had facial characteristics and they had graphic picture uh, arrows pointing that it was an identification positive. And again, with the uh, DNA was identification positive. So that, that, that was him and he's gone. There's no question about it, he's dead. Uh, why I wanted to see them is because of this controversy about whether or not we should release them. And uh, after I saw those pictures, uh, I don't think uh, they should not, I, I agree with the president, we should not release them. I don't want my mother, my wife, my son, my daughter, my four grandchildren to see those pictures. There's no need to it. Proof positive, proof positive he is dead. I accept that judgment. It makes perfect sense. Let me ask you, Congressman, do you think there might be a problem of releasing them? And worldwide, would they cause more death in the world, more people getting crazed by them and saying that we're insulting his body after he's dead well, by putting I, them out? I, I don't care too much about the insulting, but they're pretty they're, they're, they're graphic and they're horrific and they're gruesome. And they're, they're, it's a you know, the bullet went in his eye and out his ear. The eye cavity is overflowing with, with the brain mass and, 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 and bits of bone mass and his forehead is blown up. I mean, what are you gaining by that? I mean, what are you yeah. trying to prove that he's dead? He's dead. It's over. He's gone. And let's just go forward. And, and, and you know, the best part about it is the information we received. We learned more in the last 10 days about that operation than we have in the last 10 years. So it was extremely effective. Let me go to Michael Sheen on that. Do you agree with the congressman and his assessment having seen these photos? 100%, Chris, absolutely. You have to understand, again, and underscore the fact that Al-Qaeda is an organization that motivates its people as much by the Internet as any other way. And to put photos like that and have them on every uh, hack uh, Al-Qaeda website is just going to irritate people and just going to inflame them. It serves U U.S. policy no purpose, and I hope they keep those photos locked up. Let me ask you about what they have released. What's this going on with the porn stuff? You know, I get the feeling, and I'm as patriotic as anybody, but I get a sense the CIA is doing some psyops here, putting out these little kernels of information, like the guy had somebody in that company, it could have been some underling soldier that was passing time, had some porn uh, videos. First of all, we don't know what kind of porn, whatever, how bad it was, but why are they putting out that information except to humiliate that whole operation? And I understand why, but isn't that what they're doing? I think so, Chris. I think they're ma uh, managing this masterfully, letting out le pieces of information to try to discredit uh, ben, uh, ben Laden. Look at his old, dithering man there and on, the, on the footage you have there watching the, the TV and then putting out little information that continue to discredit him. While at the same time, we're learning he did try to manage his organization from that uh, safe house, but also had differences with his uh, subordinates. So it's a, it's a very mixed picture that's coming out and fascinating. But as the congressman said, the key is names will locations, phone numbers of operatives, and we're coming after them, and they know it. How does your district respond to this down there in Philadelphia, Congressman? This thing, the whole way, they agree with you about the whole thing. It was great we got him, the way we killed him, the whole thing. Yes, they think it was a, a masterful plan, and, we, and, and my hat's off to the, to the men and, and the women in the military, especially the, the, the SEAL team, the SEAL Team 6. And ironically, uh, the average age of that team is 37 years old. So they're not, you know, they're, they're pretty uh, intelligent, and they're not, they're not the young kids, and God bless the young kids, but they did a great job. They didn't drop a bomb, and they didn't blow up a whole lot of things that blew up all that information. Yeah. They were in 40 minutes, 9 minutes of firefighting, 31 minutes of grabbing all the information, in and out. And you know the other interesting thing? In the pictures, his beard was dark. So he, 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 he dyed it again, which uh, the assistant uh, director was with me. And I asked him, and he said, they kind of think he was ready to make another video and do okay, something great. else.
Grecian formula. By the way, Chase Hudley has hope. Five more years. What do you think, Congressman? Oh, yeah, he's it's good news for him. Thank Real you very much. Thank he's you. 32. Thank you, Congressman Bob Brady. I'm just kidding for the weekend. Michael <laughs> Sheehan, it's great always to have you on.